is Nina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm here with Alexis Bont of eRepublic, a um, Madrid and Bucharest-based social and mobile gaming company. Alexis, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm loving where browse It's uh, amazing the energy here you find in Istanbul. I love the place. We're really enjoying it too. It's a lot going on today. Um, so, so tell our audience a bit about eRepublic. What kind of games do you guys create? So Republic uh, Labs is about four years old company. Uh, so we focus on strategy games. So we want to do uh, strategy games that have a very engaging and durable experience, uh, but that are also accessible. So until recently, our focus was more on browser games. Uh, so we have a main game, which is eRepublic.com, that has uh, been played by over 3.5 million people in the world. Uh, and recently, we acquired a small mobile game studio. Uh, and so we want to move to tablet as well. But with eRepublic.com, we want to continue expanding it. So we've just announced today that we're launching a Turkish market with a Turkish version. So we're quite excited about that because uh, Turkey is really a key market for us. Very cool. I think you mentioned in your talk that Turkey had the, was the fifth largest country in terms of users even before you launched the local version? Yeah, absolutely. This came completely out of the blue because we didn't have a local version. So uh, the users just played in English. And uh, from 2010 up to now, it just became the fifth largest market in terms of users and actually the third largest market in terms of revenues. So that means a lot of people will tell you, okay, but these emerging markets are not really interesting because you get a lot of users but you don't make revenues. Actually, if you have the right kind of game, the right kind of product, the revenues are quite impressive. I mean, we're getting about 2.2 euros per month per active per Turkish user, which is a big number. Uh, so we're very excited about the space. Oh, and how do you monetize? Is it free to play or do you charge for the download? Uh, no, it's free to play. That's definitely the model to go, uh, to go with. Uh, I mean, one of the things I showed in my presentation is uh, two years ago, uh, if you look at iOS, only 9% of the top grossing games were free to play. Uh, last year it was 52, 53%. This year I think it's probably around 75%. So free to play is the model for games. It's definitely the trend. Um, do you have any interest in entering the Middle East and North African market? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, by, uh, by default, I mean, a republic is a mirror version of the real world. So we have all the real countries. So really our ambition is to be worldwide, you know, to have players in every single country. And so uh, this is a region of the world that I, I think is interesting for us. Uh, so far, the, we're only really getting significant revenues and traction in Turkey. But uh, we're also working on the Arabic version uh, that we hope to, soon, to launch very soon. And I think that's going to help us uh, penetrate that part of the market as well. Excellent. And will this be for the mobile game? Uh, why did you decide to pivot into mobile recently? So all these translations so far we're doing for Republic.com. So that's the online game, the browser game. We're going to do a mobile version for it as well, but it's not a game made for mobile. Uh, the reason we're pivoting towards uh, mobile with the new games uh, is because we really think that that's where the market is going. Uh, we think that right now, even uh, in places like Turkey, although mobile is only 7 or 8% of the revenues, uh, if you look at uh, the time spent playing, so number one in Turkey is still social networks, about 15%, but second is mobile. More than console, more than PC, more than online, more than MMOs. So definitely the market's going there. If you look at the United States, mobile is already the number one uh, platform from games. And you know, if you've got kids, I've got kids, I mean, they were raised with an iPad in their hands. So it's pretty clear where it's going. So you'll, will you be focusing on mobile with the Turkish game as well? We'll be focusing on mobile. Uh, when we launch the new game, you will have a Turkish version and it will be for mobile, yes. Well, keep us posted on your expansion. Thank you.